Welcome back to my channel. I'm out here again on a lake shadow with my buddy fishing. <laughs> I haven't got anything yet. I think we we're out here a little too late. But anyways, on today's video, I want to share with uh, folks um, who are interested in uh, Hobie Lynx kayak, uh, especially those who are fly fishermen. My buddy is a um, fly fisherman and he thinks that Kobe Lynx is ideal for fly fishing. Uh, in most cases, there are some exceptions and, and he'll mention that as one of the uh, con. Uh, there aren't many cons with this kayak, uh, but anyways, uh, he, uh, we'll go over that here in just a second. Um, once again, I'm out here. Any day you're out here enjoying the water and get your line wet. It's a good day. <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope uh, you find this helpful. So what do you think Hobie Links is perfect for fly fishermen? Fishermen. Well, I've uh, been fishing in pontoon boats for probably about 20 years. And they've got definite advantages, but the fact the fact that you've got your feet in the water all the time means that it's kind of seasonal. I don't care what kind of socks you got or what kind of boots you got, you're gonna freeze your feet off. That and I don't want sharks to bite my feet. <laughs> I can uh, take this out in salt water. And so that's what's kind of cool about it. You've got the little pedal drive, which means you've got your hands free. So you can actually keep your hand on your rod and you've got more direct contact with fish. I watch people kayaking and fishing and they've got their rods and holders and I can see them getting hits that they're missing. They're mm -hmm. not even feeling them. So the nice thing is you can literally hold onto your rod with one hand, strip a little line, and you can steer while you've still got contact with that rod and that line so you can actually feel it. So that's what's kind of cool. You also cool. You also got the pedal drive that's got the forward and reverse, which is nice so you can get in and out of little spots pretty easily. Um, it also helps you if you've got a fish on, sometimes you can actually throw it in reverse and put a little bit of back pressure on that fish so you're wearing them out a little bit better. It's also got it's also got a really slick kind of front so there's not a lot of stuff for you to get your line caught up on. And 
one of the things I did was I actually put a little stripping basket right in front so it just kind of sits between my legs so I can strip line into that. It's not getting caught up in the, the pedal drive or anything like that. I originally bought it, it was supposed to clip onto your waist and I was using it for a C-Run cutthroat, but this makes a lot more sense. It's kind of cool because it just folds up out of the way. Still yeah, you can still access your stuff. I can still keep my whiskey and cigars and stuff and, and get my, my drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, direct access to all my heroin. <laughs> um, um, so that's kind of a nice thing. It also keeps it from falling out and got my and got my cup holder rod holders which is kind of nice and we and we threw on these little gear bags and basically just ran some paracord right through that and just attached it right through here so it just goes through that it's kind of nice it's your stuff's out of the way you got mesh so that's that's a pretty good setup it works pretty well so far i'm using a paddle board uh paddle instead of the the kayak stuff because i can stand up on this and treat it like a, a paddle board if i want i can also paddle it like a canoe and mostly i just use it for getting in and out of uh you know the boat Then uh, I ran this little uh, air horn just because you get all these wakeboarders and stuff and they're so busy watching the, their women with their bikinis and stuff bouncing around on waves. They don't even see you. So I just wanted to have some. It was all rusty, so I rattle canned it black. I got a, I got a little cooler back here. But I just use that for keeping my clothes. It keeps them dry. Awesome. So you like it so far? So far it's great. Yeah. I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages. Uh, it's, it's pretty lightweight, but I don't think I would take it in any of the rivers around here because it's pretty thin. You just wreck it on a rock. But yeah, so far it's great. Really lightweight, easy to get in and out of your boat or your truck. All right, um, let's see. So. Well, let's go catch some fish or pretend. <laughs> we're going boating then. <laughs> okay, we're going boating. Another beautiful day. Lake Shadow. Tree. Oh, thank you. I guess I should pay attention. Thank you for watching my video. We'll see you next time. Until then, take care.